Hi everyone, welcome to our new video. Today we're going to show you how to change your Wi-Fi name and password on a Huawei Wi-Fi wi AX3 Duo Com. Okay, that the modem we're going to deal with today. Go to your browser first. Um, once you're in on there, you can. Okay, you know Chrome how it works. Then I'm gonna come and say 192. That's the <coughs> default gateway. Dot 168. Dot three. Dot one. Enter. Okay, put in the password. You want to put in the password? Well, after that, you can go straight to my wife okay then you say you change you see this is the default from afrihost i'm gonna call this one whichever name i want to name so i'm gonna look what i do in most cases i don't name my wife a, my name anything related to me so i can find a street name in the area then i name that wife because it will be easier someone to know that it's you so for the sense of security get a street name or something or call it gucci or call it whatever you want to call it you get me so in this case <coughs> i want to name mine one of the streets uh which are close to me and that street is gonna be um which street is that let me get one um okay we're gonna say um now let me call it brown brown fountain okay call it a place password if i put in the password let me see how it's gonna go okay okay i'm gonna put the password now This is medium, we don't like it, but I'm gonna repeat that password. So, okay, there should be an add sign. Okay, let's see. Still, they don't like it. Uh, I'm gonna see. made something very strong then I say backup Wi-Fi 5 okay I can do that maximum signal strength okay we're gonna save after saving that then we are disconnected so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can see that Wi-Fi. Let me go in here. Let me see if I can see the Wi-Fi. Oh, let me see. Now this is not the issue here. I have to find a way. You know, after doing that, sometimes it's not. No, it doesn't have to restart. Oh. Um, Going to this select uh, is this one you can see we did Bram Fontaine. I'm gonna connect and put in the password I put, which is gonna be open at okay. Let me try to connect if it doesn't, means I forgot the what the password. Okay, Seem, mm, seems like it's connected, but it doesn't show here. It's okay. Let's try to say 
go and see rt yes it's connected and i'm gonna take out the cable sometimes i'm using a different operating system uh sometimes you do this sometimes it can be connected but it shows that so that's why you can see now it's changed to the right thing so let me do something okay uh, let me go to speed test let me test my speed Wow, the speed is super good. You can see my speed is good. I see. Download and upload, all good. What I'm gonna do, gonna go here and uh, save that. Let me save. good okay I can log into all that then what I'm gonna do there's um something I have to put in here okay that is super fine um something about many devices these are the devices which are connected here unlimited limited limit rate if you want to limit you can limit the device is Samsung you can limit it this you can limit it anything which is connected here you can see all the phones which are connected here imagine these things are connected via um, what um, what they call um, Wi-Fi extender, but you can still also be able to do that. There's something I want to do here. Connection to the internet. Yeah. Before one port connected, reconnect. So before it was bridge static IP. Now I put it on HDPC. It means it can change, change what, um, whatever. Uh, it can change the the pass the the, the 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 ips it can give ips you get me it can do dynamic ips not a static one you get me it can assign new ips on each and every machine it's, which is connected there you get me so okay line is fine mac address pc mac address manually enter okay we leave the way the system is because this one is on i expect everything to work well well guys that's the end of our tutorial uh, thanks for watching I uh, hope this helped and see you in the next video